What's going on everyone? My name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you two methods of doing a cloud lightning effect. So the first method I'm going to show you is from one of my recent videos that I put on Instagram from my vacation to Cancun. So basically a cloud forms behind me and it starts flashing and then it rains down on me while I'm just drinking a pina colada. But so the way that you would do this type of effect, you just search online for a free cloud PNG, download that PNG and import that and your footage into After Effects. So the first thing is I want this cloud to look like a storm cloud, but this cloud is pretty white and doesn't look like it's part of a lightning storm. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a bunch of duplications. If you don't know how to duplicate, it's Command D. So just make sure you have that layer selected and just keep hitting Command D and we're gonna make a few duplications. You can see that that PNG is now just getting brighter. So now we're gonna search for the effect called Tint and only apply it to that top layer. So now we're gonna map the white to a dark gray color. And so now you should see that it looks like a storm cloud. Now go up to the top to layer and add a new adjustment layer. Now make sure that adjustment layer is on top of all your layers and then select everything by doing command A and now while still holding command unselect your footage. So now we're going to pre-compose all of those cloud layers and the adjustment layer. Now once you've done that go ahead and click into the pre-comp. Now search for the effect called Lumetri color and then add that to your adjustment layer. Basically what we're going to be doing is keyframing the exposure value so that we get some flashes going on in there like there's lightning inside of the cloud. Now when it comes to something like this I like to keyframe on that timeline so I can see all the keyframes being placed and then drag them and make adjustments if I need to. So now on that adjustment layer hit the drop down arrow for effects Lumetri color, tone, and then exposure, and turn on the keyframe stopwatch. All right, so that first keyframe should be set at zero, and now you can move forward one frame or two frames and just boost that exposure. So I went from zero to two, and then you go back down to zero, and then have maybe a couple frame gap, and then add another keyframe at zero, and then have it flash again. And it doesn't have to be exposure two every time, or you don't even have to use two if you don't want to, because then I did one point three I just want it to be random flashes so it gets bright and then dim and you can play around with how long that flash lasts or how long that it dims back down to normal it's totally up to you and then from there you can just highlight all those keyframes command C to copy it move forward in your layer and then command V will paste those exact keyframes so now you can create a pattern or you can just move forward in the layer and do a different type of sequence so it doesn't just look like the same thing repeating itself. Now search for the effect called Gaussian Blur and then add that to your adjustment layer as well. And you're just going to want to have the blur strength match the exposure. So as the cloud lightens up, it also blurs. And as it gets darker, then it becomes more in focus. And again, you can choose any value that you want, but I think the key here is to be subtle. I find that adding that Gaussian Blur to this effect really helps sell it. And also if you haven't already, don't forget to click that repeat edge pixels box. Now once again, you can copy all those blur keyframes by highlighting them command C move forward command V to match the other ones and that is how you do that first cloud lightning method now the second method is a method that I used when I was making a lyric video for black China and trippy red and it's basically by taking clouds that already exist in the scene so real clouds in the background and making them flash. So the way we're going to do this is by creating a new white solid. So you could just right click in that bottom left corner or you could go to the top and do layer new solid and make sure it's white. And then we're gonna lower the opacity just a bit so that we can see through our white solid. So that white solid should be on top of your footage and highlighted. And now we're going to grab the circle mask or the ellipse tool and we're going to draw little circle masks on clouds in the background. Once you've drawn them, you can then readjust just the actual size and rotation of those to match the clouds even better. And now what you're gonna do is hit the drop down arrows for mask and then go ahead and boost the feather on both those masks to soften the edges. And then you can play with the mask expansion to make sure that that flash is staying within the cloud. So what I like to do is keep the opacity at the brightest point of the flash because then we can just alter the mask opacities on each mask 
before the flashing of the lightning. So now you're just going to keyframe both mask opacities the same way that we did with the exposure, just by doing random flashes, and then boom, that is how you do the second method of the cloud lightning effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. And if you guys wanna see a tutorial in the future of an actual lightning bolt effect, comment that down below and then maybe I'll make that for you guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you